Well, it's important when we think about population, and it is, and I am concerned about it. We're talking probably around 3 billion people between now and 2050, and I do think it is an issue. But I also want to be careful to say, because a lot of people then take that and use it as an anti-immigrant or, you know, or could be a potentially racist kind of thing. When we look at who is using the most energy and water in the world, it isn't the places in the world where the population is exploding. It's here in North America where the worst energy guzzlers and the worst water guzzlers, uh, followed by Australia, which has no water left, and Europe. So um, it's very important for us, I think, to realize that it's the industrial model and the individual use, uh, overuse and abuse of these resources that, that is the issue. When then you compound that with growing population, which is then growing in areas of the world that are industrializing. So it's the industrializing China, the industrializing India, with the class structure where their upper class is buying, you know, all the stuff and more that we have here. That's the thing that's unsustainable. So it's the connection between population and consumerism and industrialization that we have to put together. And if we in the global north don't want the global south to destroy all of its water and energy sources, we better, we better admit that our development model may not be the best one. And that, but we're going to have to show some leadership as well in cutting back because how do you ask people in a poor country to cut back um, when we won't cut back ourselves? You know, it's quite a lot to ask, really, if you think of it. It's like saying, well, we'll all cut our emissions or we'll all cut our water use or whatever by... 20%, but if you're, you know, as somebody described it, if you're 80 pounds and you're supposed to just you cut your food consumption by, you know, 20%, you're going to die. If you're 200 pounds, probably you can cut your food consumption by 20% and then some, right? So similarly, I think we could think of ourselves as being kind of gluttons in the global north and maybe we can cut more than our share um, so that the global south isn't taking the entire brunt.